Alright, 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 Bam, ba bam. Okay. That's gonna annoy people. All right. No. I'm gonna pretend that the last thing never happened, and we're just gonna play this game for a couple hours. Uh, because I feel like it. So... Kira, how long do you plan on staying if you're even still here, which you probably aren't? Let me actually check because I can check that. Because I can check that. Yeah, you're still here. Good. How long are you planning on staying? Because you probably are busy, I'd assume. Or you have better things to do than to watch me play a, g a really good game. Um, while me providing um, commentary. played this game uh, before um, I've seen a little bit of it but I don't know how it ends uh, I've seen up to the first uh, appearance of the AI character that is the main boss uh, or the main enemy or antagonist what is going on with my internet why does it say frames drop is that from earlier oh yeah that's from earlier or no no yeah over the last two minutes? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not from now. Is it? Hold on. Let me check. Has that been from me, or... I guess it's not been from me, never mind. I rarely get those now, but... It did not like me playing Battlefield. So I'm gonna do that on my own time. Uh, so yeah. Alright, let's see here. Oh, you did leave. Never mind. Fuck you. Fuck you, Akira. Alright. Let's jump right into it. Alright, let's see. System shock on. Irrational. Irrational. I'm going to turn the game down. Uh, 
Okay. I might turn it down just a tiny bit more. I'd say, like, right around there. Okay. That should be good. Alright. Let's watch the intro. Look at you, hacker. A path pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Okay, that was the intro. Hey, Izzy. Uh, so, uh, today... Okay, so we're just gonna do hard. Hard mode. Uh, not impossible. I wanna do hard, so it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, I think this game can soft lock you uh, if you fuck up. Um, so, you have to be careful, I think. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm gonna be probably saving a bunch. I actually need to check my controls and see if there's anything that I need to look at here. Um, it'll probably tell you all these controls during the game, but I wanted to see what the save buttons are in case there's a quick save button, if that's even a thing on here. Yeah, um, Alt plus S and then Alt plus L, I'd assume. Okay. Akira, stop. Please. Look at you, hacker. Oh, it's playing the intro. Anyways. Of meat and I guess we'll watch it again. Let's fuck it. You run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue... A rogue? So, we're in. This is us. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please uh -huh. proceed to the grav shafts. Welcome to Aperture Science. Hey, what's up guys? I'm new to the job. 
Oh, I can lean. Uh, I like the leaning system from the first game when I was watching a review of that one. Uh, I wish they kind of... Okay, so... I guess there's no run button? Yeah, there's no run button. This game is also made in the same engine as, uh, uh, as, uh, Thief, uh, 1 and 2. Uh, okay. I guess Step I'll... into the grav shaft to proceed to the street level recruitment. Which one's this? Which one do I go on? This one? I guess I go on this one. This is like an elevator, but with, like, stuff going on. Am I in the right place? Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Okay. Before you choose your career, oh, you'll your character want to learn slowly some basic runs abilities. over time. First, you should go into the basic training. Oh, okay, watch. When you're done with basic training. Proceed to the advanced Wait. training area. Does he? Maybe he doesn't. I was I dreaming it? I swear I was running. I guess I'm dreaming it. Hello? He hello? Okay, I guess I'll go to the basic training. To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this Cyberlink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Oh, okay. Welcome, trainee. Whoa. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Interesting. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? Uh -huh. That means you're in shoot mode. I'm in shoot mode. Hit the mode. tab key. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, Press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow uh, the red path along the ground to the next training station. Okay. I like how it tells to you how to move items, your mouse. Center them on your screen and right click. Like this how will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left clicking and dragging them around. Right click, okay. To drop an item, Drag it from your inventory into the 3D view, and release the mouse button. Wait. To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view, and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar, and right click. This will activate the mm. lift. Try it out. Mm. If yum, you can yum, still yum. see your inventory display, it means you're in use mode. Shut the it fuck up! to return to shoot mode. Okay, so r r right click interacts with stuff interesting the object before you is a med hypo pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points Just your hit, hit points, points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen many objects in your inventory can be used by right clicking on them see wow. the crate in front of you to yeah. search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an item from that container, simply left click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, press the tab key. I'm gonna use it. Fine. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. Ooh. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom this of your screen to bring up the audio PDA display. Up. You can use your PDA at any time to store any audio log now, or email up you have received. Shut up! Now pick up the audio log in front Shut of you. In the field, the PDA Jesus. is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives. Get out of my head! Containing help information. <laughs> Why does everyone keep talking to me? Oh, I can check my emails, my notes? Okay. Is this my research? I can... Oh, reports. So here's where we're... Research. Report. Okay. Okay. 
Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you. Ah, Give it thief. a try to climb a ladder. Simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. What happens if I'm like halfway onto it and now want to? I guess I could jump off of it, yeah. And I could do this. Wait, can I not do it like thief style where I... I guess I have to hold it? Hold on. Yeah, okay, you can. Okay. So, thief style. Which always has a very nice game mechanics. I'm gonna take these. These are mine now. You're mine, and you're mine. Give me the other one. Here it is. Give me this. And then over here. Oh, really? No, come back here. I'm not done with you. It was hidden. What does this do? That doesn't do anything. Okay, so I guess I'll leave. This is basic training after all, I guess. So yeah, exit. You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me check the controls once again. I can lean left and lean right. Shift. Reboot gun. Change ammo type. Attack. Use item inventory. You can slide, which is kind of cool. Wrench, pistol, shotgun, assault rifle, EMP. Okay. Crystal shard. Worm launcher. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. Message history, which would be kind of nice. I get, I get nice. Bleh. I guess that's an L for log. Uh, stop audio play, which is backspace. Okay. Chat, because of course they want you to be able to chat to people. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the Cyberlink booth of your- Alright, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few- Good to have you on board. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, Take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy based items. Weapons. Batteries, you name. Uh, how do I switch to it? Do I just... Okay, five. Interesting. Oh, uh, you can use the numpad to do everything, which is kind of cool. Okay. There's like no knockback for laser rep weapons, which is kind of nice. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. 
The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Ah, okay. Very cool, very cool. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just come in handy. I see technical. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Technical skills you'll need. I see. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the cyber... The object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you, mu you can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To use a replicator, right-click on it, then left-click on the item selection. you wish to purchase. The item you purchase will drop into the slot below. Please make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. Hi there. Please make your selection. Thanks, Dad. You learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. Thanks, Dad. Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. Do not let fear block your path. Oh, dude, you can't lean, you can't always lean onto the wall, as you can see here. If you hit a wall, then you can't lean properly. I, I like that. I, I love this engine, though. I don't know what it's We've called. We've provided but... you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability to project simulated psionic powers. Once you leave this area, these powers will be lost to you. Okay. Alright. The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many psi points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your psi points. Try using a psi hypo and watch your psi points increase. When you've reached your maximum in psi points, move to the next station. This psi amp amplifies your psi powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the psi amp activates your currently selected psi discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available psi disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select psi disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful, holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of Psi points, use another Psi Hypo. Interesting. Watch this. Come to me. 
Watch as it slowly. <sighs> I used my telekinesis to pull it towards Mastery me. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. Uh, the shuttle will take you to a UNN uh, orbital space station like to, where you'll uh, receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Uh, I'd like to use uh, weapons or uh, the Navy. What's the, uh, the Navy's technical? I, uh... I, uh... Really want to, uh... Switch to either the Marines or the Navy. Not the OSA. I, uh... I don't want to do psychic abilities as much as that's... That could be fun. I, uh... I don't think I should do that first. Let's, uh... Do a quick save here. I'm gonna walk over here and then I'm gonna do that yep okay it works awesome okay I, I think I can just straight up save a game yep. okay I uh I don't know which one to choose so <laughs> I'm gonna use the internet uh, You and the union and, and na sailor, navy sailor, or naval officer is one of the three military classes in System Shock 2. Individual classes do not limit um, the abilities or weapons, or do not limit the abilities or weapons a player can use, but rather determine the priorities of their usage. However, as the costs of the upgrades increase along with the difficulty settings, players should uh, carefully consider choosing their path on hard or impossible difficulties, which I, <laughs> I'm on hard. Uh, lore. Gone are the days of struggling with sails, oars, or coral and diesel engines. The machines have conquered the elements. The modern Navy must therefore conquer the machines. Naval trainees usually learn a mix of technical st skills and training up several statistics. Upon selecting the this class, the first you're first sent to Colorado Island for a half year long preliminary training, during which you gain plus one standard weapons. After that, the shuttle takes you to the Ch Chesapeake Bay Space Station orbiting the Earth to begin your three year training. You have one of three options to choose from. Uh okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll get that. We'll get back to that. Okay. We'll get back to that. I'm going to do Navy. Because I like technical stuff. I'm a big fan of the technical. I sure do love tech stuff. What's going on here? Hello? Year one. Ready for my training. Welcome aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks hey. like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive a briefing on a posting. If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Uh, okay. Okay, Dad. Look, it's the Navy. It's over here. Nothing? Wait, could I just right click? No. Okay. No. Hello? The UNM Lucille is looking for an engineer's mate to help maintain the ship's core energy systems. Ooh. There's some heavy lifting involved, sailor. 
but you'll learn your way around the high-tech equipment. Ooh, okay. The UNN Lucille is looking for volunteers for their military police detachment. Those sailors can get pretty rowdy on these year-long cruises, so you better not be afraid of a tussle. Okay. The UNN Lucille is looking for an engineer's mate. The UNN Lucille is looking Ooh. for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high-tech systems, but also expect some heavy lifting. Okay. So, I'm either gonna do ship ops or engineer. Um... I, I think I want to do The hacking. UN and Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your... Hack. Ship's ops. All right, February 13th, 2112. Your tour of duty aboard the Union and Lucilli has concluded. You spent a productive year. Captain Mayer was pleased with your work, especially with the initiative you showed in physical training. A friendly uh, ensign showed you some back doors into the ship's primary data loop, and you spent your time off pumping good old-fashioned iron. You've gained plus one hack and plus one strength. Year two. All right, let's start from the left to the right. The UNN Carfax is undertaking a mission to examine a newly discovered Class B comet approaching the outer solar system. You'll likely pick up some useful skills working with the high-tech navigation systems aboard this newly commissioned heavy cruiser. Hmm. Okay. The UNN Pierce is ferrying liberated political prisoners back home from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce has been assigned a detachment of Marines and needs sailors to load, administer, and maintain the arms on board the ship. Mm. Laverne, Florida hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. While maybe not as respected as the Marines facility at Fort Bush, there's a lot to be learned here. Hmm. Okay, so I could do plus two to standard training. Plus two cyber affinity. The UNN what the fuck is, cyber is undertaking affinity? a mission to examine a newly discovered Class B comet approaching the outer. The fuck is cyber affinity? Okay, cybernetic affinity. The maximum level of. Okay, basic statistics. Currently upgrade. Okay, what the fuck does this do though? <laughs> Doesn't help me. Each point in cybernetic affinity reduces the difficulty of the hacking. Oh, repairing and modifying mini games by 5% additionally. Oh, okay, so it helps with um, hacking. Um, maintenance might be pretty decent, but uh, I think hacking is always nice. Um. The UNN Pierce is no. ferrying liberated. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, Laverne, Florida weapons. hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. Well, maybe not as respected. I think it's really important that we're good with some weapons to some extent. You know, some standard weapons. Your tour of duty at the Laverne Tactical Training School has concluded. A year of firing ranges, mock boarding parties, and war games has done you good. You spent plenty of time with military grade pistols assault rifles and even auto shotguns you've gained plus two standard weapons that's very good uh, to help us out i think let's start with this the navy's mary curie research facility on aquinas 4 is currently conducting research on a new strain of spaceborne virus that killed 220,000 citizens of new atlanta to lift the quarantine Oof. we must determine how the virus pierced the city's micro nanite shielding yikes that's a little too close to home the Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Pros, mm. there's no better way to improve stamina and survival skills. Cons, the 21.2% mortality rate. Okay. The Navy strongly encourages every Dude, sailor I could to be a Saiyan. some amount of zero-g training. Goku. A year at the Yamamoto space station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. So it's agility, endurance, or... <laughs> Um, research. 
I feel like agility would help. I could become a saint. The Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero G training. Let's let's take some zero G tr uh, zero G training so we can bulk up, raise our power levels. Your tour duty and. Yamato Station has concluded. You certainly weren't prepared for the events of this year. Captain Wilts uh, will, was never popular with his men, but you never expected half the crew to mutiny. The taut days spent regaining control of the ship with the captain lent you a grace and a, a agility you never knew you were capable of. Okay, we gained plus two agility. Shuttle A138, you have clearance for landing on the Von Braun in Shuttle Bay 2. Welcome aboard, soldier. Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Deck 4. I have to meet her at Deck 4. What the hell is going on here? Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable, dude. Move! Take cover! Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Yikes. Uh, weapon. Okay, I got a weapon now. Holy shit, okay. So, this is, um... So... This is, uh, very interesting. I'm gonna do, like, an actual save. Uh... Okay. Alright, so we need to get up here. Come on, get up there. Hello? Hello? The entire sector is depressurized. Through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! Uh, okay. Yeah, let's listen to it. Great. Gotta change the access codes out of Cryo-A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll send Jesus. the code to 45100. That should be easy enough to remember. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Oh boy. I'm gonna turn the sound down because it is a little bit too loud. Just a tiny bit. Okay. What the hell? Oh boy. I can't see a thing. Do I have a flashlight? <laughs> Do I have a flashlight button? Flashlight, 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 flashlight. I don't think I have a flashlight button. <laughs> oh god. Why do I not have a flashlight button? I can't see shit. Okay, hold on. Let me adjust the gamma. I'll do it like here. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. I need to go use the restroom. I need to go use the restroom really badly, so I uh... Emmy. Okay. Oh god. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of scared. Uh. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it, and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. Okay. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. Yeah. That yes. Yes. Open yes. Yes. Airlock door. Be quick about the vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, I get it. When I have to fight my first enemy, that's gonna Good. suck. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig and the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. Uh, okay. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. What do you even use these for? Okay. Uh... Tech upgrade. What if I do weapon? Uh, okay. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Info, let me check my character here. So agility is pretty decent, strength is okay, everything else is just normal. Tech is alright, hack is alright, uh, skill not learned. I don't even know repair, okay, or maintain or research. I don't even know how, how to do those. So, that's good. What are these, cryogenics and PDAs and stuff, okay. Uh, I should probably do, let's see here. We do need to know repair, which would cost 13. So I can't even do this, I don't think. Yeah, I don't even have enough uh, cyber modules, which are right here. Eight, 
so I'd have to wait to even learn how to use those. But I, I could learn hacking too if I do that. Uh, and then we have actual just stats itself, uh, which I could actually do that. I could do endurance, which would maximum hit points, which would be pretty nice. Um, cybernetic affinity improves chances of success for hacking and stuff. Uh, and then Psy, which I'm never going to use. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. I can't even upgrade any weapons, so the only thing I could either upgrade is a stat or my hacking. We're going to do hacking. Uh, okay. That should work for now. Uh, hello? 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 There's a dead guy there. Oh, shit. Nice. I was able to get that. Oh, I could just go in here. <laughs> I got some nanites so I can buy things. What's over here? I could hack this. Okay. Let's try hacking. Fuck. Damn. God damn it. Okay. I can't hack this. Wait. Let's see if this says anything about the code. No. Okay, well then I guess I'll just move on. Uh, this is a horror game, by the way. In case you can't tell. Uh, here's the map. This is a- this is a ship, uh, by the way. This is a- this is a- this is a ship. Also, it looks like you can actually turn minimap on. Which is kind of nice. Um, let's see, what is this? What is that? Oh, it's a hypo thing. Okay. What's over here? Some more things. Some more information about stuff. Holy shit! Okay. I'm fine. Oh boy. Access card. Okay, science sector access card. And some nanites that I can use. What is this? 20... A mug. I have a mug now. Get out of here. I don't need you. Interesting. I'd assume the combat... Can somebody let me out? I can't find my car. Please. Let me out of here. I don't need that. That can just stay on the ground somewhere. Wherever I threw that. Over there? Yeah, that's fine. Remember that. That's right through it. Actually, I'll throw it, like, right here. What? That's in the wall. Hold on. Good enough. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. Some nanites, which I can use. Attention. This just gives you some good information, I guess. You can use a map. Just sure you can, in fact, use a map. Where am I? Oh. We have a lot of nanites, huh? I can actually use these over here. Please work. Security okay. access compromised. Security access compromised. Uh oh. Is that a good or bad thing? Oh, that was gonna crush me. That was gonna crush me. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hello. Nanites.
That was an enemy. That was, uh, that was an enemy, huh? Oh, I can turn the lights on, huh? Hello? I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, I saved. I just want to see what happens. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. The music is really good. Holy shit. He's doing the straight. He's doing the. Hey, what's up? Join us! Oh fuck! Oh, you bitch! Oh, they hit. They hit hard. They hit hard. Okay. They hit hard. Got it. Don't get hit by them. <laughs> I'll still fuck you up. Okay. All right. I don't know why I was so nervous there, but. Whatever, I'm good now. What is this? Unresearched. It's research skill one, that's right. I don't even have research skill one. Was that a robot? Xerxes is shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. I. Yo, a pistol. Hold up. Let's equip that shit. Wait, actually, I don't have that much ammo currently. That would probably be a bad choice for me to do that. God damn. Somebody's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Delacroix. What the fuck are you? Hi there. Please make your selection. Uh, I don't have enough for bullets. Please make your selection. Yeah, I don't have enough for bullets. Okay. It takes me back here. This is Xerxes. Please report any unauthorized database interactions to your direct superior. Remember, a smooth operation is everybody's responsibility. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. But don't botch the job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Your corpse is useless to me. Very good music. Oh, okay, I can just walk over and destroy it. Like a gamer. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Let's not do that. Okay, so there's a turret. Right there. Oh, fuck. Okay, don't get shot. Let's just not go that way for now. This music's very weird. But also really good. Oh, yeah, that's the way I can't go. 
that's the elevator. I could hack this, but that, I think that would cause some issues. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Fuck. No. Come on. Work with me. Fuck. <laughs> okay, don't click those. <laughs> Got it. Do not click those. This is Xerxes. Please report any unauthorized database interactions to your direct superior. Remember, a smooth operation. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. But don't watch the job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Hello. Your corpse is you useless to me. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay. Don't get killed by an explosive option or whatever. This music does not fit what's going on right now with me just not doing anything. Unless there is something going on and I don't realize it. Very nice. We got some bullets for our gun. We got a can of cola, which I guess we can drink that. Can I, like, rotate this? No, I can't even rotate this. So it has to be, like, weird. Are you sure I can't rotate items in the inventory? That seems kind of lame. You know? It seems kind of dumb. No threats detected. Okay. Well, I am a hacker after all. Security system offline. Very good. Very good. Okay, go. 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 Ow. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. I can check these without any issues now. I was able to check those without any problems. Can I actually climb under that? No. But we can see here. No. Can't even break that. But we got a destroyed turret, which, yeah. Thanks to this hacking here. Oh yeah, wait, wait, there's that other area I needed to go to. Fuck. Hold on. Hopefully I have enough time. Hurry. Very good. I was able to get rid of that. So we can actually go that way now. What is this? Oh, chips. What is this? Logs? Alcohol? Nothing? Okay. This is a nice safe room. anywhere else currently. I'm, I'm nervous. Security system online. The harmony is disturbed. Just wait. Did you see him? Did you see that dude? Your, Our, your 
splash a little well. <laughs> Hybrid, huh? Is that what you call yourself? There's so many logs we can listen to, but I want to wait to do those till we're in a safe area. Because, you don't time doesn't stop and this music is a little bit intense. This is kind of a nice place to be right here. Once this really intense beat music stops playing. Here we go. We have a bunch of logs. I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shaft shorted out the primary access channel, and that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, where the hell are you? listens to me. The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? I think I'm gonna turn the music off. I, I remember hearing something about how the music just takes the edge off, right? I completely agree on that. The music is cool, is nice, but the game plays so- is way more scary if you don't have audio playing, or if you don't have music playing. I to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Kerenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you could see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Well, la -dee da yeah, this game plays a lot better without the music, honestly. Just, I mean, the music's really good, but, you know, better. Alright, get crew card from Grassy. He's near biopsy and medical. And we got through a security airlock. Okay. Access to maintenance, get maintenance access shaft code from Dr. Watts and go to deck four to meet Polito. Okay. Inventory. Is there any information here that I can use that would be helpful? Can you rotate stuff? Oh, you can actually change what the, um, their burst and everything. That's cool. Emails. We got some emails here. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable, dude. Move! Take cover! Hmm. The entire sector is depressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! Ah, okay, so these are what she was talking about, okay. Alright. And we have a map here that we can use. can't really like move the map or anything so interesting but yeah until I get like enough ammo like more than enough ammo obviously I don't want to do anything about it I don't know what wines for yet let me move everything I'm gonna do some item management what is this this is a brawn boost implant what is that? Armor piercing bullets, so I can make armor piercing stuff. Could do that. And then we have the ammo here. Alright, hold on. Let's move those there. Let's do that. Let's do it like this. For now. Let's kind of clean it up. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. 
You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. Cool. Look at that. I don't know what this is for, but we can use this, I guess, for something. Hold on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, nothing happens with that. Okay. Alright, we're good. I... Okay. Jesus. Okay. I forgot about that one. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. Hello? Okay. Let's, um... Let's do a little bit of hacking. Oh, I can't hack this one. I have to figure it out. I don't even know if I know how to. I got rid of that. So we can actually go through here. This is where the one girl was being attacked by the one guy. So there's actually a guy down here that we're gonna have to fight. There he is. Wow, what a surprise. at him. He's so gross. What are you doing? Here he comes. Hey! Fucking shitty fucking battle system. Oh god! Okay. Okay. Alright. They hit hard. Got it. So I have to be really careful with this. Hey! Alright, watch this. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Monkey? Monkey? Oh shit, that monkey is dangerous. Okay. Dangerous monkeys, got it. The, the, the killer monkeys. Exist. I didn't know killer monkeys existed. Until today. Holy shit, they take your health down pretty fast, actually. A potted plant. What do you do with a potted plant? Okay. Very strong vodka. Speed booster and side hypo. Side hypo. Okay. Ever since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought in for vivisection, and the rest of them, I mean the entire group, stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display. It was a protest. Interesting. It was a protest. Poor mutant creatures. They're stuck. Antitoxin Hydro. That's very good. Are you? Oh, there he is. How did you know I was here? Hey. 
Um, ah! Ah! Got you. Just like that. Ba bam, ba bam. Good job. I don't know how you saw me from here, but you did. So I, I uh, appreciate that. Fuck. Holy shit. Nice. We got uh, anti radiation hypo. Very nice. What's going on in here? Can I, like, see people? What is that? There's stuff in here. Can't break in there. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get into those. This door doesn't work, so I can't just get into there. What is this? Security crates. Designed to hold dangerously explosive. Yeah, these crates are have a bunch of shit in them that can be helpful. The usual stuff. So if it red, it means you've got to hack. You gotta use your hacking abilities. What are you? Research. Yeah, you you can take time to research an item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how it works. Me, me, big brain. I'm actually gonna do. I, I love save scum, but. I just make sh I just like to make sure because I don't like backtracking at all. Oh, I can actually research stuff now. Wait, can I? Hold on. No, I can't. Whatever that did, it did nothing. Nice. It did it did nothing. <laughs> There's actually probably enemies over here. Oh god. Okay. Go. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I just want to take in the world, honestly, because this is just very cool. I love the ship. I love the ship. Of the harmony. Yeah? What about it? You down here? Where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. Oh, no. Where did you come from, anyways? Was he, like... I didn't see him here, so he was, like, in, the, like, the perfect hiding spot? Garbage. Nanites. I could use those. Uh, let's see here. Fuck. 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 Okay. Reset. Shit. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Reset. Okay. No. Yes. Yes. A payback. It pay it practically just paid for itself. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was, that was good. That was good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure if he shot those explosive barrels, he could have probably done more harm, more damage than he should have. But still, pretty good. Hi there. You? Please make your selection. Ooh, bullets. I do need some bullets. Um, but that would be wasting my hype. My nano knights. Access needed. Okay. I don't want to waste my nano knights. These missions should have been scrubbed before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on deck one. I've put an order requiring oh, acid dear. suits down there. I know you think this will cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation sickness. Radiation sickness. Radiation sickness. Okay. Alright. Very awesome. This game's spooky. Let's hear let's hear the music right now. What's the music sound like? There is none. What? 
What is this place? Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Oh. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. Oh boy. Okay, so this is this is the stock currently. Okay. Very interesting. So we have a bunch of things here. Some information on barium, californium, fernium. I could actually do some inventory here. Maybe. What is this? Iridium. We have two things of iridium. Is that true? Do we have two things of iridium? Uh, let's see here. Research. No. Where is it? PDA? No. I don't remember where it is. Great. Is it L? Logs? No. Uh, I don't remember the button to open up the thing, so I'm gonna have to figure it out. Left info tab. Security crates. Research. Nothing here. Awesome. Ah, here. Each deck has a chemical no, 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 no. storeroom where you can find the resources you need. Here it is. Yeah, two iridium. Okay, so this is all correct information. Got it. We have some standard bullets, so it's a good thing I didn't buy any. Because you, I don't want to waste money. I don't need to. We have some antimony, osmium, fermium, tellurium. Yetterium, Yetterium, Technectium, Osmium, Gallium, okay. So we have all these different things here that I can use. I don't, I currently don't really, like, can't, I can't really research anything because I don't have enough. Hello? Oh. Silence. You're fucked, buddy. Get owned. Get owned. Armor piercing bullets. Nice. We have more of those. There's probably stuff in here that I could use. Okay. Eh. Eh. I could drop down from here, right? It's like really dark in there, so I can't tell. Is there a light switch somewhere? Uh, is there like some kind of light switch? Querying items. List mode. Interesting. This is key cards. I see. So I have cryogenic sector and cy cybernetic sector. Is this cry? Where the fuck is the cryogenics? I'm sure it's somewhere. I don't know where though. That's definitely not cryogenics. Cryogenics is probably somewhere over there. Uh. This map doesn't really help either. There's a guy walking around. You can hear his pitter patter. The pitter patter of his feet. Let's go down here and see what's going on. This is the chemical station. Do I even need to go to the chemical station? I don't know. This is Xerxes. Remember oh God. the unauthorized usage of firearms aboard the Von Prom is a class 3 infraction. That's not good. That was a trap. Awesome. Awesome. What time is it? 2? Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Okay. Alright. Alright. 
I'm gonna hit end it here in a couple minutes. We did our intro, basically. Medical personnel. We need to go that way. But there's that fucking annoying ass uh, thing in the way. Hey, what's up? You're a fucking dick, you know that? You're an asshole. I have to use this to heal myself because you decided to hit me somehow. Access needed. Mm, okay. Yeah, there's like nothing else I can really do here other than maybe buy some stuff Hi in there. here. Please make your selection. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Open up. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to, through med. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the med. Oh, what? Oh. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a return. I didn't even know that guy was there. Awesome. Do your explosion. Okay. Oh, hey? Didn't even notice you. Kill me! You want me to kill you? Jesus. He's like, he kill me! Didn't know you wanted me to kill you so badly that you ran towards me. Didn't even attack me either. He just wanted to... Rub his body against me. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid. But there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. I... Look, another potted plant. What is this? Marie, I've got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. <sighs> That's a shame. Speaking of rad hypos got one. Okay. Wait, I can play an- I can play a game? <laughs> hold on, what? Hold on, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna go that way in a minute. I just- I need to check something. How do I put, like, this away entirely? That door doesn't work. I think it's over here. No, no, no. Wrong way. Uh, I think it might be... It's not in here. Or, it's over here. It's over here. Play swine keeper. Oh shit! Oh shit! I can play. Okay, I can play some minesweeper. This is awesome. Ah, oh, you stepped on corn. Darn. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that's definitely corn, and that's definitely corn. That's definitely corn. Wait. That means that this one's touching a different piece of corn. Okay, so that was not corn the entire time. I was wrong. Okay. Let's see here. So, these are touching corns, right? I clicked on the corn. Okay. Holy shit. This game hates me. 
Here we go. Okay. There's one corn there, so that means there can't be any corns around here. There's gonna have to be a corn here. Perhaps. Let's place it right here. Yep. So those two are corns. Which means that these are good. Because now these are touching different corn. So this one can't has to be here because this one is touching these two. There's not corn here. There's definitely not corn here. There's three corns this one is touching. So this one could potentially be the corn. This one's one of the corns. So that, that, there's one more corn that this one's touching. This one's touching too. So this one has to be the corn. Fuck. I was wrong. I got really close though. Corn. We are, we are, we are, we are. Corn. Corn. No metal intrude here. Corn. Okay. And then this one good. This one's good. That one's at least touching one. And this one's touching two. Which could potentially be this one, this one, or this one. This one's also touching two, and this one's touching three. So, I think it's this one. Ah! Damn. You suck that swine cor whatever this is called. Swinefield. Swinefeld. That one's touching three, so these three are bombs. That one's touching three. This one has to be a bomb. That one's touching three, so those are good. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. That one was wrong. It was this one that was the bomb. Why would I want to hack this? Three. There's actually three touching this one. What happened to me? What happened to me? I was touching one. Okay. This one has to be touching, so it's either this one or this one. Okay. Fuck. Okay, hold on. What happens if I hack this? Hold on. Hack skill required six. Okay. flesh yeah, yeah yeah whatever okay um i'll be back with this tomorrow uh, actually because this is really fun i love this game so far but i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go <laughs> uh, i gotta go so um yeah uh yeah <laughs> i don't know <sighs> okay. F A. Uh, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and a good night. I love you.